Okay, welcome back guys. So welcome to the rendering parts of this tutorial or the look de look development part of this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed, I urge you please do subscribe. That will really encourage me to drop drop more content for you guys. So uh, okay, let's get to it. First of all, I like to hide. I would like to hide all of these collections. So I'll hide all of this. I just want to see just the head only. Okay. So uh we'll come in, in here. <coughs> Let's make sure let me use modern standard. Oh, is there a rendering here? Rendering standard. Let's see how this looks. Ah, uh, looks a bit weird though. <coughs> nah. I'm going to be okay. Let's let's see the spots and the next spots. No. Mm, no. Stick with the standard instead. So I have a few ideas for my lighting setup, but it's just going to be like another extra layer of lightning, though. For now, I would like to go for a more generalized look. What is like the one I'm actually eyeballing? It's kind of going and then do this as my extra layer of rendering. Just to get some cool effect out of my rendering. So I'm looking at using this kind of sun bright spots highlight on on the face in form of this rectangular shape. So, so that's what I'm going to be doing as an extra layer. There are several types though. Uh, several types in here. This is also an interesting one. This also looks interesting. Okay, all of them are interesting, but <clears throat> this one seems to catch my attention more. So oh, let's get started. So I've already done some textures and some Asia Rive map I'm going to be using. So yeah, I got this from CG Even. I would be probably be it's actually free. It's actually free. So you can get this from CG Even. I'll probably drop the link in the description. Okay. So this is why I don't like this was I like the sun. This sun coming out from the window, causing this bright highlight around here. So I like to have something that reflects on my on my character. Okay. Okay, so uh, so one of these two limbo, or uh, I'm going to be trying this one first. I'm going to be trying this one first. So uh, back in here. So I would like to get a generalized texture for everything, just to get a good light balance out of this. So I'll select the folder. And I will just apply a new AI standard shader, standard surface shader. Oh, another very important thing is to check your perspective camera. Okay, I'm using right. I've already set this up already, so that's fine. So where's the resolution gates? So turn this resolution gates. Go to my render setting for this. I already have a preset I'm going to be using for my render setup. So import render setting user. Uh, let me start with the medium it's render setting. So you can just use this as your render setup. <clears throat> you can use the same setting. Okay, so yeah, one. 
one key for now seems fine okay seems fine so let's just set this roughly around here and i will save that bookmark new bookmark name this front cam okay close this if i go out of this now i'll just go back to the bookmark to snap to that angle let me push this down some more because just in case we have just in case we have air on top of this i don't have to be cut off so let me receive this again great great oh it's actually cracking in the air let me just get this down some more so select this and i'll delete it new bookmark okay let's test that out all right i dig here again do a quick save okay let me select this okay uh let's just call this ai ai uh uh let's name this as i just name this to this this shader okay uh okay so um let's go to unload 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 in here then we'll drop then we'll drop uh let's drop an agri a dome light in here so ai dome lights if I go out of this now, this is our dome light. And I believe I need to have a studio set up here. I have a studio set up or backdrop rather. So let me just drop this in here. Okay. Select this backdrop. scale this out maybe not so much uh, just one you should do it might disturb us from having light casting from this side but we'll see though we'll see we'll see we'll see if we don't like this one we can always create we can always create a new one okay, while i'm here let me just create a new one I'll quote a new one so I'll duplicate this. Okay, I'll go in here, face mode, select all of this, control shift I to invert that selection, delete it, center pivot on this and push this out like so so this one should have like casting from this side so it's just going to be the two variations we would have <coughs> get this somewhere around there should be fine then we'll give this a separate material AI <clears throat> backdrop. So right off the bat, I would like to have a darker shade of material in here, like so. Then make this quite rough. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back to our camera setup. Alright, so for this AI dome light now. Uh, samples let's put this at two 
let's plug a texture in here so select the color fill i mean file rather then i'm going to be using my hgri so i think uh let's try this brown photo studio instead it's a 4k map exr so should be getting a good resolution out of this so i'll just paste this here okay you can't it's not previewing but that's fine let's put this here i don't know if it should be on srgb or raw not entirely sure though but we'll test, the, we'll test them out and then we'll figure out which one works best. So let's fire up our render view. I'm not render view in here. Okay. Let's fire. Click on this. Fire up the render. Okay, so we have something in here now. Got something rendering in here. Okay. I would like to test something out. But then for that, let The collapse this background. I'd like to darken this even more. Okay, let me use a darker shade instead okay so, okay i'd like to see let me show this view let's put 50 percent so i'm using faster running okay so kind of visualize the of the light properly i would like to like to uh like to select this model and I will see let's get a dash dark material in here so you can use the reflection to kind of gauge where the light is bouncing from let me stop this for now let's zoom out of this Okay, you can see this better spot of light from this particular angle. Okay, so we are kind of facing this light. So, so we know this light is light is coming from this direction, but I can't really see. Uh, let's try. A broader view render like so let's see can't really see the intensity of that light properly so let's go to the sky dome don't really much input this at 4k let's see if we can match this that actually do anything. Frank this so let's try a value of 10. Let's see. That looks a blown out. This is by default. Let me take this dome light. Let's see. Let's see if we get any interesting result out of this. So I'm just going to rotate this. Uh, let's close that view. Stop this for now.
prevent the idea it's given no blue okay, it's less of the texture no no open this let's put this on srgb let's see srgb Okay. Okay. Stop this. And figure out where the brightness of the light is. Okay. Trying to figure out the direction. The direction is coming from the main brighter source of light coming from this direction. Flies from this particular window in here. So let me try a different backdrop. Let me try this backdrop. Apply existing materials. So it should be should be this AI backdrop. Come back in here. This is We need to reduce the intensity light. Let's go 0.5 above this. Okay. This is a red on full black. But it's giving us this bluish tone to it, which, which we can't really see from this image. There's a bluish, bluish tone to it. Which we're not supposed to be getting from the air. Yeah. Think the better. Place to put this should be a camera roll, should be not camera roll rather. Color space should be on roll instead. Raw is giving us the be a better color for this. Let's say we prank this up a little more. Yeah, too much. Put this out too. Okay. Well, let's rotate this so let's do in here. Rotate the XY y axis. Let's it's this let's see from the top view. Yes, perfect. From the top view, we can get an idea where it's very light. And we can properly rotate this. Up. Let me zoom out like this. So I would rotate no, mode. So let me rotate this this way. I want this light on this other light on the on the mode. It's more like this. Let me zoom out this. Okay. But keeping in mind that this is for our backdrop setting, so if I do this now, different. This is even, this is even better. So I, think, I think, I think I would have this like so. Uh, let's use this other backdrop. Let's see. Okay. Something if I push all the way back, I'm trying to see it on this. 
Sini sudah ambil lagi Baldo dan Pak Lexon. Okay. Okay, this is nice. So we do the um, what's it called again? Save save the snapshot like this. I stop this. So um, let me see. This is at uh, this is at uh, um, seventy three degrees. Okay. So let's say we put this, move the minus on this. So we should be having this facing this other side. Let's see, what, let's see the effect when you're having this facing this other side. Okay. Probably test this some more. Let's see what we have. Okay, interesting. Let's put this some more here. Okay, so now let's see. Let's this one. So we know about one of them seven minus seven to three of those values for this. Let's select the mode. Please remove this a bit more. Let's get some of this around here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a good place. This is a, this is actually a good place. Let me stop this for now. The backdrop, I would like to drop it down a bit more. Or put down around here, somewhere like here. Okay. Okay, so let's look at our render view again. Uh, let's fire up this render view. Oh, it's in the top. We don't want that. Let me just scale it out. Okay, but on the faded, faded bright highlight on the lower part, and I don't want that. Okay, uh, okay, let's try. Okay, by default, there is some good lighting on this. So, so it's not giving us ash shadows, just so this is cool. So, I'm going to select this dome again. Let's try that 106. Brother, let's try to sell to Tira. Let's see what we have in here. Now let's take the one two. Let's even use one two. Let's use one one seven. Okay. Let's find this find so. Okay, let's stop this render. Okay, so now we we'll select the head now. Let's give it a zone individual. Let's give it its own individual shade as so let's name this to AI head. Alright. Yeah, this seems fine. Okay. Do a quick save. Come in here. First of all, let's get this roughness to somewhere around, somewhere around here. Let's use fix. Okay, increase this all the way up. All right. So first, now I'd like to do is to test out the, to test out the. Uh, Displacement map for this. Let me test this map for this. So I'll stop this. Then I would. Uh, 
I'll come to this pin not, not here. Okay, Adobe Base Mesh Main Mesh Main Shape rather. Go to displacements. Okay, it should be on Arnold rather. Subdivision level, put this on cut lock. Mm. Displacement attribute, turn on off, turn on auto bomb. Scalar value should be on 0.5. I have a setup for this. Let's set up. Is this seats? No, this is not. It's not this. Yes, it is in here. Displacements. Okay, so iterations on two. Just get more subdivisions to this for the render setup. Then, because I created my displacement map from zebra, so usually the scalar zero values that usually work for me is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. <clears throat> So the height of this, I'll take this down to 0 0.5 also. So, so for now, nothing should be working because we need to. Let me hide this for now. Bottom. So we need to go to the hyper shade. Rendering hyper shade. Okay. You know what? Let's stop this render for now. Let's stop this video for now. Then we'll continue the next lesson.